Just how popular is business intelligence globally? Is BI an area that's growing and trending upwards? Or is it just something that's talked about and promoted by people like me who work in BI and perhaps have a vested interest? Well, let's consult the Oracle, look at some data and find out. Hello and welcome to Learn BI Online with me, Adam Finer, helping you do more with data. So I often get asked by people whether I think they should pursue a career in business intelligence, if BI analyst is a job that's sought after, or whether they should look at training to become a data scientist or data analyst. My answer, which probably won't surprise anyone, is always yes. But let's look first at some predictions for business intelligence and then some real world data to see if they back up that answer. So I just did a Google search for growth of business intelligence and the results were all pretty positive. An article on Fortune Business Insights via Globe Newswire states that the business intelligence market size is expected to reach 54.27 billion by 2030 at a compound annual growth rate of 9.1%. Vantage Market Research via Yahoo Finance says the market is projected to reach a value of 35.6 billion by 2028 at a compound annual growth rate of 7.2%. Future Market Insights states that the market is anticipated to thrive at a CAGR of 7.1% from 2023 to 2033. And finally, Markets and Markets predicts a CAGR of 7.6% through 2025. So they're all kind of between 7 and 9% in terms of the compound annual growth rate. Now, some of you might be saying that lots of these bloggers and sites with these articles have a vested interest or are just trying to get you to buy some report or other. Now, while those people are right in some cases, from my experience and evidence by the growth of this channel, I'm pretty certain that there's more to it than that. So let's look at some real world data and see if we can spot any trends. Here we are in Google Trends. It's a website that lets you look at the trend and popularity of search terms and topics. The data comes directly from Google. Let's start by looking at business intelligence as a topic worldwide over the past five years. You can see that the general trend is upwards over that time. But you'll also notice that it's never been so popular and searched for that it is right now. So this would tend to back up the predictions we've seen. The numbers on the graph don't represent absolute search volume numbers. After all, that would be quite disappointing. No, the data is normalized and presented on a scale from 0 to 100, where each point on the graph is divided by the highest point, or 100. For actual search volume, we'd need to look at something like Google's Keyword Planner tool, but we'd also need to know what are all the search terms that go into the global business intelligence topic and then add them all up. So we can't really do that. If we go back and look at data from 2004, we can actually see the trend more starkly. I also looked at the search term BI analyst and we can see a similar trend. With both these graphs, you do have to take into account the improvement to Google's data collection system from 2022 onwards, but the trend is still upwards for both. Google also gives you geographical data that I downloaded and put into a couple of maps we can see that globally there are a few hotspots for the topic business intelligence, namely in Northern Europe and Spain, Central and South America, Australia, South Africa, Singapore and India. And what about the US, which states are searching for business intelligence the most? In this map we can see the top results are Washington State, Minnesota, Colorado, Texas, Illinois, Virginia, New Jersey, New York, and Massachusetts. Whereas Wyoming, New Mexico, Mississippi, West Virginia, Maine, and Alaska show the lowest number of searches. So obviously all this isn't very scientific, it's not even meant to be. It's really just to give some anecdotal evidence of the upward trend and popularity of business intelligence as a whole. As the business world, particularly on the smaller end of the size spectrum, moves more and more online and uses more and more SaaS and cloud services, the more data they're being given access to and the more they understand the need to make sense of it all and use it to inform business decisions, to drive their business forward and compete in the marketplace. 
From my perspective, I believe that it's going to be this sector of smaller businesses where the biggest growth in BI will occur and the need for hiring BI analysts will be the greatest. I think it represents a real career opportunity. That's essentially the main reason behind my decision to create the BI Career Starter Program. It's a 12-week program designed to teach you all the skills and tools you'll need to land an entry-level job as a BI analyst. If that's something you think you might be interested in, you can check out the program launch video here. What are your thoughts on the future of business intelligence? Let me know in the comments below. Please do like, subscribe and share this video if you found it interesting. It really helps out the channel. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.